These things are almost impossible to read. I don't know about you guys, but I got more pictures of things that I can't read. Yeah, this is only a 4 amp fuse. Yeah, that's only a 4 amp fuse. This must have been replaced. A lot of this stuff was my dad's stuff. So, I couldn't find a 10 amp fuse. I'm just going to put a 15 in it. These meters are so cheap. If I burn it up, I'll throw it away. Yeah, it's definitely been taken apart because it only had two of the four screws in it. It could have been me. And I love this little screwdriver kit. It's got all kinds of little bits and stuff. And then this one will extend out. So you can really get into some tight spots with it. This is, I guess it's Oreo, R-I, Oreo, O-R-I-A. And uh, it comes with all these bits. Well, and a lot more of them, but I seem to have misplaced several of them, but yeah, they're nice. Just don't, if you get them out of sync with where they are when they come, good luck. So we replaced the wrong fuse with the wrong fuse. And instead of going down by six amps, we went up by five amps. So it's supposed to have a 10 amp, but now it's got a 15. So that should work to test and do what I'm wanting to do. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I don't know if you saw the video a couple weeks ago that I did where I installed the remote control into this dump trailer and I got to thinking, went down the rabbit hole on this one. This thing's always listening. It's kind of like the government. So in order to always be listening, it has to draw some type of current. Is that going to be enough to kill the battery if it sits for an extended period of time? I also got to thinking, well, I've got a battery charger that I have down in this box that's always connected to the battery and if it's not plugged in will it kill the battery if it sits for an extended period of time unplugged so again the more i got to thinking the deeper the rabbit hole got and i said well what about these other chargers i got this battery minder if it's not plugged in but connected to the battery will it drain the battery versus help the battery and then i also got this little smart charger from amazon that you can change whether it's lithium amg lead or a life po battery so what happens if it's plugged in but disconnected? I'm going to break this up into two different videos. I'll post links in the description back and forth to the videos. And what about these battery chargers? I've got like an onboard battery charger on this that's not really made to be an onboard battery charger. And I wanted to see what kind of current draw it had. You know, a lot of the boats and RVs, things like that, have bank chargers or onboard chargers that are on the units themselves. And they're okay if you unplug it and they have a disconnect type circuit in it. I didn't know about these little cheap Amazon specials. Obviously they claim that they're a smart battery charger. Well, the only way for them to be smart is to read the battery. So in order to read the battery, there has to be some electronics in there and that's gonna potentially cause a draw. So we're gonna take and test. I got a couple different battery chargers out here today. I'm gonna put them through the meter and see what kind of amp draw we have on those. So let's get started. So the first one I have is this little power charge. It's a five amp. So it has this connector here and I keep it unplugged just cause I did not know what kind of current draw this unit would have. So if we come over here and look at the meter that I've got plugged in, it's doing the typical four, we're just gonna call it 0 0.04. So at 0 0.04 milliamps. So if I take and plug this in, Oh, wow. Well, I wasn't really expecting that, but yeah. I'm glad I did this experiment. So if I look at that meter now, I am at 0.12 milliamps. Now, before, if you recall, with the wireless controller here, I was getting about 0.03. So this is almost a tenth of a milliamp that we're drawing through that 0.1 milliamp on this because we have to take and subtract from what this was already pulling. So 0.1 milliamp with that battery charger connected. Now, will that cause any issues and drain the battery? Let's do some calculations and figure that out. 
All right, so I did some mathematical calculations here and figured out that uh, 0 0.012 amps is basically 12 milliamps. I could have just moved decimal points to figure that out, but I wanted to make sure that my decimal moving was correct. So 12 milliamps is what that is there. So uh, 12 milliamps. So I'm on DigiKey's website right now, and if I go and say, I don't know, I'm just going to throw 100 amp hours, 100 amp hour in, and then device consumption on this is 12 milliamps. So this is telling me 800 or 8,333 hours. If I switch that to days, I'm at 347 days. If I switch that to a year, I mean, it's basically a year. So if I were to leave the battery charger plugged in but disconnected from power, within a year it's going to drain this battery. So that tells me this little power charge 5 amp smart battery charger, in order to be smart it has to be stupid, and it's actually drawing some current on this enough to where if it's plugged in for a year, it will drain the battery. So let's test a couple other battery chargers while we're here. I'm going to have to do these a little bit different. All right, so here I have a Battery Minder Plus, um, which in my opinion is a lot nicer charger than the other one that I showed. Now this is a one amp a charger maintainer desulfator. And to test that, I'm just going to basically throw that on the ground, remove the meter from the battery here, so I'm going to hook the fuse and all back up, and then I'm going to take this and connect the negative to the negative, and then I'm going to connect the positive lead to the battery, and then connect this through here. So yeah, I don't see any current draw at all on this battery minder. So keeping the battery minder connected and not plugged in has no current draw whatsoever so this would be a great battery charger to just permanently hook up to the battery and then plug it in whenever you want the next one that i have is another smart charger now this is i don't know what the brand is maybe htrc p20 smart charger this will actually do 12 amp, 20, or 12 volt rather, 20 amp. I doubt seriously that that's the case. Now this will actually show you how many amps that it's putting out. Nice little battery charger. Now this one, let's hook the negative up to the negative. We got the positive still hooked up. And I don't know if you guys heard, you probably didn't. But this thing actually snapped. Let me see if I can discharge any capacitors that might be in there. So, let's see if we can hear this. Maybe lightly. So, when I hook this up, I'm getting point. 0.19 amps. If I switch to milliamps here, 0.19 milliamps. So this thing actually has more current draw than what the other one did. So at point, we're just going to call it 0.2 because it does hit 0.2 every now and then. So after looking at everything, to me, Yes, there's a current draw, but it's probably no more than what the radio in your car or the computer electronics in your car, something like that, is drawing. So I don't think leaving any of these battery chargers permanently connected to your battery is going to cause an issue long term. Obviously, it would be smarter to have no draw whatsoever on your battery. So if you're going to be, if whatever you have your battery in is going to be sitting for a while, disconnect it. I mean, that's the smart thing to do. And if it's a battery that costs a lot of money and you're worried about it, put one of those battery minders on there. There's tons of different trickle chargers, uh, maintainer chargers, things like that that are out there that will keep your battery ready to go, ready to start when the spring comes and you need it, or ready to start hauling stuff in your dump trailer, whatever the case may be. So 
will a battery charger that's hooked up to the battery but not plugged in kill your battery i doubt it it's going to take it a very long time to do so and you've got other environmental factors such as temperature humidity things like that that are going to cause just as much draw on your battery and degrade your battery just as much as leaving those hooked up that's just my opinion so i appreciate you guys watching the video and if you haven't already subscribed i got a lot of content coming up uh, working on the deer stand down there we're working on cleaning all the property up and i'm always mowing hopefully the temperatures will be cooling down the days are definitely getting shorter and i won't be mowing as much so we'll have a lot more cool projects that we're doing and I have upgraded some of my video equipment to try to be able to give you guys some better looking and better sounding content, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.